Hey, this is Uncle Mark in the Mothership. Three string, cigar, box, guitar. Yeah, yeah. So, um, Leslie West, Mountain. This is Mississippi Queen. Um, I'm not going to try to sing this and play it. Um, there's a whole lot going on in this rhythm section area. Um, I'm going to do a little bit of the soloing, show you the intro. Um, but, you know, we're focusing here on the broad strokes. Uh, so let me show you the broad strokes and then um, from there you can take it from there and, and work the subtle nuance and all the little little parts that you want to work on. But like I said, this is going to give you the really the meat of this song and bam bam, you know. Okay, so uh, let me uh, play it and then um, we will look at all of the different features. <laughs> There it is. So, um, a couple of things I want to work on. I want to take the little solo, the... I want to take that out of the equation right now and just focus on what the chords are and what we're doing here. So, um, this is a G, D, G tuned guitar. Um, G, D, G is an open chord. It's G. Um, my string gauges are 42, 34, 24, and they're all wound. Um, I'm really a fan of wound strings. So um, at the zero fret, which is right here, because you can see the zero fret, G, G sharp, A. A is an important chord in this song, and it's right below that dot or two up, you know, or a whole tone above the zero fret. So A, B flat, B. B is another chord important in this song, and I just look at it as between the dots, right? C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E. Um, this little area right here is really important where this E is, and there it is with the dot, okay? There's also another E. If you take this D string, D, D sharp, E, right? So that's your D string, D, D sharp, E, and you put your... Second, your third finger here, your ring finger here on the B, and your ring finger here on the B. That's another E chord, and that'll come into play a little bit. Um, the, the functionality behind the chord will come into play. So we're here on E, so G, G sharp A, B flat B, C, C sharp D, D sharp E. Okay, so that's the main, the main riff of this song is in E, A, and B. So what I want to do is slide up from D to E, okay? And we're going to do a... So that rhythm is a slide up, down, up, down. Just like so. Right? And if you have to do it slower... And you, I like the sliding in and sliding out of it a little bit, okay? So the... You can hear the... Okay? So if you turn the gain up on your amp, or you turn the gain up on your pedal, or turn the overdrive up, you'll end up getting a lot more of that um, slidey sound that... I just really like the way that works in this song. So... Basically, we're going to do Mississippi Queen, you know what I mean, Mississippi Queen, got everything, hey, da 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 da. 
Okay, those are really, really the broad strokes. Um, what's happening with this E, as well as the A and B, is you're going to come up and do that jangle jangle. And then you're going to go to the E and the E. Right? So you're going to play this note. You're going to play this note. Doesn't matter if it's down or up with your pick. So you want to be in this position where you can hit this D and come up to that E. Subtly, exactly how it goes. So it's down, back to that E, D, E. So it does that one time, and then again, then it goes to the B. So it's B, D, E. So it's B, E, B, E. So it's speed. So that's what you're doing with every shape. You're going to do it with A. A to A. G to A. Same thing. And here. Same thing, or whatever you'd like to do, it's, it's either way, okay? Or and that's how I do it down here, is I'm on A. Slide off to my second finger, open, second finger, E note. And that's kind of how I work that little shape. So that's the that's the meat of this thing. So the little riff in the beginning. So get your fingers set up where your first finger is in. The, this is the second position, by the way. First position, second position, third position. It all depends on your first finger. So this is your first, your second position here. So my first finger hits that A. Then I hit the B. My E, okay, and that note right there you should know is a G. And when I come off, I give it a little wiggle like so. So that's how your hand is set up. So if I just sat here and did this while I was watching football or uh, basketball or whatever you're working. Work this shape, you know. So that's how the thing opens. So you get the uh, obligatory cowbell. Tap, tap, tap. Tap, tap, tap. Then the whole thing starts. Okay, so that's the that's the raw perches. Um, you have a signature lick for an intro. 
Um, this is a signature lick that really reminds me of, of, of a Molly Hatchet lick. It, it just does. It has that quality to it. Um, the only way I can play this on, on this guitar is to bring it down an octave. So... <laughs> Okay, so that's what I'm doing. So remember down here we talked about this was an E chord. E, B, and B. Same thing above the 12th fret, so we're now in the upper register. So D, D sharp, E, B, and B. Okay, so that's, a, that's an E chord. But I'm just going to work this note, this E note. And I'm going to get up E. Then I'm going to come up here to this F sharp, and I'm going to bend that F sharp up, and with my pinky, hit the B. And that's the little thing you want to get, is this, pink, this, this third finger bend on that F sharp. And just remember... There's the dot. So if your hand's below that stuff, it's going to work. Okay? Now you're on E again. Right? And you're going to be above the E. So instead of being here like D and E, you're going to be here with E, F, and F sharp. So there you are on B. Okay? So B, C, C sharp. E, F sharp. So this is something you're just going to have to fool around with. Okay, so that's how the, the broad strokes of this tune is. Um, if you're going to sing it and play it, um, I would avoid doing all the fancy stuff in here, and I would just... Mississippi Queen, you know what I mean. By the way, um, there's also um, a way to play this, okay? Where you can actually sing it, <laughs> you know, because my voice can't get this high, right? So if you take everything and move it to D, you can do the same thing. So it would be D... G and A. And that's how you would just move it. Okay? All the same things apply. And that way you just play the open A and then open G A. This lick open. So G, A, F, right? So you would do that in the key of D. So you can fool around with this song any which way you want. Um, it's really a complicated little rhythm section. It's really difficult to play. But once you get it, you know, you'll, you'll really have fun with it. Um, this is Uncle Mark in the Mothership. Uh, I hope I gave you the broad stroke so you can start fooling around with this song as you like. Um, I do have a donation link in the show notes down below. It's a paypal.me forward slash Uncle Mark Tips. Um, a buck a show is all we ask, so we thank you so much for all your donations. Sharing on social media, getting the word out, um, really appreciate it. Thank you so much for everything you do, and we'll see you again soon.